Hi, in this video you will learn about the working of model palette in Aspen Plus. To follow along with me, open Aspen Plus in your laptops, computers, or whatever device you are using. I have already opened the Aspen Plus, and right now I am in the simulation environment of Aspen Plus. So today, we will talk about the working of model palette in Aspen Plus. We use the model palette, to select unit operation models, and icons that you want placed on the flow sheet. The model palette appears at the bottom of the workspace. Now, you can hide the model palette just by clicking on this little triangle, and then just select auto hide. So when you will not be using model palette it will hide automatically. And you can make it appear again just by clicking, on the model palette button, on the left bottom corner of the flow sheet window. If you don't want it as auto hide just pin this by clicking on the little pin icon. You can also undock the model palette, and use it as a floating palette, you can also maximize the model palette window just by clicking square icon next to the cross icon, and restore this window by clicking restore window icon, that is double square. You can again make it dockable just by right clicking on the model palette bar, and select dockable. Now when you move the model palette window you will see dockable arrows, asking you to where you want to dock your window. So I am just docking back to its original position, that is bottom of the flow sheet window. The model palette has multiple tabs, that corresponds to the type of model you want to place in the flow sheet. If necessary, click the scroll buttons, at the right end of the row of tabs to access the tab you want. Select the required tab from which you want to place a unit model in flow sheet. Click the unit operation model on the sheet, now click location in the flow sheet where you want to place the model. When you place blocks this way, you are in insert mode. Each time you click in the main flow sheet window, you place a block of the model type that you specified. To exit insert mode, and return to select mode, click the select mode button on the upper left of the model palette. You can also exit from the insert mode just by clicking right mouse button. To select a different icon for a model, click the down arrow, next to the model icon to see alternate icons. The icon you select will appear for that model in the model palette. Now select the stream to place it on the flow sheet. You have to click two times to place a stream, in flow sheet. To select the stream type, click the down arrow next to the stream type displayed in the model palette. I am going to select heat stream, or you can also say energy stream, and place it on the flow sheet. Let's do it again for the work stream, just for the sake of practice. Now, this is it for today video, hope you have enjoyed it. As this video is a part of basics of Aspen Plus, so I did not go in details. Soon I will upload the intermediate, and advanced lectures of Aspen Plus, till then stay tuned, and stay blessed. For watching. If you like the video so like, share and if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet then subscribe.